Hello everyone. This session is about sulfur containing amino acid metabolism. So what are the sulfur containing amino acids? They are nothing but methionine and cysteine. Sulfur is a mineral. This is the third most abundant mineral in our body. It helps to relieve the pain, fatigue and stress. Also improves the joint health and mobility and causes full body detoxification. Because the sulfur mineral, it is present as sulfur containing amino acid and it is helping in the sulfation reaction. Okay, so the sulfate addition reaction with your glycosaminoglycans, GAGs. So what are the glycosaminoglycans? Mucopolysaccharides. So the sulfate addition happens in the mucopolysaccharides. So mucopolysaccharides have numerous functions. Okay, the sulfur is also helping in the conjugation reactions. So helping in detoxification. So this is the importance of the mineral sulfur in our body. So the sulfur containing amino acids are cysteine and methionine. So you can see the sulfur compound here. Okay, here S-methyl thioether linkage is present in methionine. The methionine and cysteine, the metabolism will see in this order. How it is synthesized? How it is catabolized? Okay, what is the end product of the cysteine methionine metabolism? And third thing is the metabolic role of the compounds and last the metabolic disorders. The metabolic disorders of which the enzymes are a defect in the metabolism. So that the compounds are raised, okay, the substrates are raised in the metabolism, leading to inborn errors of metabolism. So the first is a synthesis. So this is our gut system. If a compound, if an amino acid is synthesized in our body, we call that compound as non-essential. If it is not synthesized in our body, we call that compound as essential. So we have seen two amino acids here. Okay, the sulfur containing amino acids are two, methionine and cysteine. So among these is which is an essential compound and which is a non-essential compound. Your methionine is the essential compound. It is not synthesized in our body, so it should be supplied in the diet. Whereas, cysteine is synthesized in the body. Then whom do you think the precursor of cysteine? It is nothing but the methionine. So, methionine is an essential amino acid from which we can synthesize your cysteine. It is a non-essential amino acid. So, we have seen the synthesis. What about the catabolism? What about the metabolic end products? So, based on the metabolic end products, the overall amino acids can be classified into glucogenic, ketogenic, otherwise both glucogenic and ketogenic. So, here also the metabolism, the metabolic end products are glucogenic and ketogenic. Your methionine and cysteine are glucogenic compounds. Okay. So, like your glycine and alanine, methionine and cysteine also glucogenic amino acids. That means your aliphatic amino acids and sulfur containing amino acids or glucogenic amino acids. That means during the end of metabolism, they can root into glucose production. Next thing is the metabolic role. We have seen the synthesis and the catabolism. So what about the metabolic role? That means what are the biologically important compounds that is synthesized from your methionine? So I have given here a mnemonic to remember the biologically important compounds synthesized from methionine. That is 
Sam transform polycysta to cyst. That means Sam means S adenosyl methionine. Trans means how it is helping in transmethylation reaction. Form means it can produce N formyl methionine. Poly means it helps in synthesis of polyamines. Cysta during the metabolism it can produce cysta thionine and cysteine. So this is the mnemonic SAM transform polycysta to cyst. So first is how yes adenosyl methionine is produced from methionine. It is nothing but your activation step. So this is the reaction. L methionine is becoming S adenosyl L methionine. You can see this is the active methionine. Always the activation step involves ATP. Then what is the beauty of this step? You know in all the activation step, phosphate is incorporated into the substrate. But in this case, you can see all the three phosphates are removed here as your inorganic phosphate as well as your pyrophosphate. So it is removed. So the compound remaining here is adenine and ribose. That means adenosyl group. So this is going to attach with your methionine and the compound is activated. You got your yes adenosyl methionine. Okay. The enzyme here is L methionine adenosyl transferase. This enzyme is shortly called as MAT, MAT enzyme. This enzyme has three isoforms, 1, 2 and 3. In that, 1 and 3 are present in the hepatic tissue. Okay, so the first metabolic role is over. Next, with help of this S adenosyl methionine, with the help of the SAM, it is going to do the second biological role that is your transmethylation reaction. Because why? SAM is the main source of methyl groups in our body. Okay. Methyl groups can be donated by two things. One is one carbon pool. Okay. This is the first thing. Second one is the S adenosyl methionine. Okay. The second methyl donor is S adenosyl methionine only during transmethylation reaction. <laughs>